ሰላም ሰላም የቻናላችን ተከታታዮችን ደምናላችሁ የአስረኛ ክፍል ፊዚክስ አዲሱ ካሪክለምን ዩኒት 1 ቬክተር ኳንቲቲስ በሚለው ዩኒት ውስጥ አንድ ነጥብ 3 ቬክተር አዲሽን ኤንድ ሰብስትራክሽን የሚለውን ሴክሽን ይዘንላችሁ ቀርበናል እንደተለመደው ቻናላችንን ሰብስክራይብ ላይክ ኤንድ ሼር ያደርጋችሁ እንድትከታተሉን እንጋብዛችኋለሁ 1.3 ቬክተር አዲሽን ኤንድ subtraction first let's see addition of vectors before i'm going to explain about addition of vectors let me explain some concepts behind addition of scalar quantities the addition of scalar quantities is not problematic it is a simple arithmetic sir for example if the total mass of 2 kg which is if it is m1 it is if it is mass 1 m1 mass 1 and the other is 3 kg if m2 is if m2 is 3 kg so what is the total mass both are scalar quantity so it is a simple arithmetic solution so the total mass is mass total mass is 2 kilogram plus 3 kilogram it is simple it is a simple arithmetic which is 5 kilogram 5 kg Let's consider temperature again If the temperature increase from 5 degrees centigrade to 12 degrees centigrade from 5 to 12 degrees centigrade Here what is the difference in temperature The difference in temperature is 5 degrees centigrade change in t model no? change in temperature here the change in temperature is the change in temperature is 12 degree centigrade minus 5 degree centigrade it is a simple subtraction so the change in temperature is 7 degree centigrade so to add and subtract to add and subtract a scalar quantities there is no any problem generally it is non problematic but when it come to vector it is a little bit different this is because when two vectors are added you need to take account their direction as well as the magnitude but in the case of scalar quantities when we add and subtract through scalar quantities what we consider is only the magnitude but when it come to vector if you want to, to if you want to add two vectors you must mm, consider the direction as well as magnitude remember one thing you should remember this always only vector of the same kind can be added for example two forces can be added two velocities can be added but a force and a velocity cannot be added so when we add a vectors one consider the direction and their magnitude the second one is you must remember that when you add a vectors the same kinds can be added but different kinds cannot be added for example you can we can add two forces we can add two velocities, but we cannot add force and velocity. The other point that you must remember in a vector addition and subtraction is there is a resultant number of vectors. What does it mean a resultant number of a vector? When the more in another word, what is a result a resultant vector? A resultant vector. The resultant of a number of a vector is a single vector. A single vector whose effect is the same as the individual vector acting together 
term you may have vector a vector b these two vectors have their own uh, effect but their resultant is the resultant is the effect of the two vectors as a single vector the effect of the two vector as a single vector is called the resultant vector or the resultant of a number of vectors you can call it let's see here here there is an individual vector here is an individual vector which is vector a it has its own effect and here there is another individual vector vector b it has its own effect so these individual vectors can be replaced by a single resultant vector where the overall effect is the same the overall effects of the resultant vector is equal to the other individual vectors the others individual vectors for example if vector a and b have a resultant r a resultant r the resultant r has been represented mathematically r equal to a plus b this resultant vector uh, have the same effects of the individual vectors a and b so a plus b is the resultant vector this resultant vector is a single vector a single vector this resultant vector is a single vector it has it had the same effects it had the same effects of the individual vector a and b when they are acting together so the other point that we are going to see is subtractions of a vector you know vector subtraction is a straightforward extension of vector addition if you want to subtract vector b from a if you want to subtract vector b from a it is simple vector a minus b you can write in this way so first you must define what is meant by subtraction as is discussed in the previous section the negative of vector b is defined by the negative of vector b is defined by minus b vector so graphically the negative of a vector has as you know the same magnitude but opposite direction negative of a vector has uh, the same magnitude but opposite direction so you can consider he vector b vector b had the same magnitude with this vector but their direction is opposite so uh, b is minus b is the opposite vector of the vector b so if you represent this vector b the other vector which have the same magnitude it is a negative of it you can uh, write it minus b these two vectors are opposite vectors so when we add these vectors when we add these vectors we will get in another way the subtraction of a vector that's why vector subtraction is a straightforward extension of vector addition here the resultant vector r here the resultant vector r is equal to resultant vector r is equal to uh, vector b vector b plus plus minus b minus b minus b minus b so minus b you must put the arrow to represent as it is a vector minus b so their resultant vector will be zero before these two vectors have they have the same magnitude but they are opposite in direction so when you find the resultant the resultant vector will be zero okay so in another way 
the subtraction of a vector b from vector e is simply defined by the addition of minus b to a minus b to a so vector a vector a here is a vector a vector a vector a uh, minus vector b when we have two vector vector a minus vector b it means that vector a vector a plus vector a plus vector a plus minus of b minus of b minus of b this is it means that vector a minus b means the addition of the negative of b so in another way if this a vector a plus minus of vector b means vector a minus b that's why we call it again vector subtraction is a straightforward extension of vector addition so always if you want to subtract b from a this is written as a minus b a minus b means a plus minus of b so this explains for us mathematically how we can subtract how can we can subtract vector b from a but in case of here which is shown in the figure 1.5 vector b and the negative of vector b so the resultant vector of vector b and the negative of vector b their resultant is zero let's consider the following note that vector subtraction is always vector subtraction is the addition of a negative vector so the order of subtraction does not affect the result the order of subtraction does not affect the result hence as is indicated in the figure 1.6 here subtraction of b from a it shows so draw a vector minus b from the tip of a and join the tail of a within the tip of b then the resultant vector is the difference a minus b here we have a vector here here we have a vector called vector a here is a vector a here is a vector a vector a and a vector which is represented with uh, dot line with dot line is where b vector b so here this is this is uh, r this is r this is r this r is this r is a plus b this r is this r is a plus b vector a plus b this r is vector a plus b so if you draw a vector of negative of b so you can draw opposite to this this vector b you can draw this vector which is minus b this is minus b which is the negative of this vector so the resultant of these two vector is the resultant is the resultant is the resultant vector equal to a minus b this a minus b means vector a vector a vector a vector a plus plus minus b minus b vector minus b vector so in this way you can subtract vector b from a so you must consider this point again note that vector subtraction in addition of a negative vector the order of subtraction does not affect the results you can see from the figure 1.c draw minus b from the tip of a here is a vector b so you can draw the negative of this vector b from starting from the tip of the vector a from starting from this tip you can draw the minus of b so the resultant of these two vectors a and minus b is here a minus b another ways of vector addition is triangle method of vector addition this triangle of methods of vector addition uh, it will be presented for you 
in the next video until then don't forget to subscribe like and share our channel see you in the next video thanks uh, to be a part of our family